Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Time for our Facebook Live. Uh, today is going to be a quick one because I'm getting ready to leave for New York. Uh, but I did want to stop and do this quick uh, project because I actually need to use this. So I hope that you will take a look. And actually I'm going to see if you'll time me to uh, see how fast we can make a little notebook. <laughs> I think it'd be good to know because, you know, I'm going to try and make a couple. Hey, Angela Beavers. Hi, Laura Glum. How are you doing? Oh, it's, I thought it was cooling off, but it's not. Today I went to the dentist. It was the hardest cleaning I ever had. I almost was crying and this, I, and the dentist did it, which I thought was weird, but, um, not good. I don't know if I'm going back to him. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Karen. How are you, Karen and Kathleen? Hey, everybody. Okay, so today we are going to just make a really quick um, notebook. And if you don't have this die and you want to get it, I only have a couple left. And it's going out of um, production. So if you want it, hey, Janice. Hi, Leslie. Oh, see, it wasn't the hygienist. It was my dentist retired, which was weird because he never told me he was retiring. So I get a call confirming my cleaning with Dr. Tran. And I'm like, who's that? And they said, oh, Dr. Haber retired. It's like, he didn't tell me about it. Anyway, so I went in and he was digging in there and yelling at me. And it's like... I need a new dentist. <laughs> he was telling me because it was bleeding, because he was poking it with a stick, uh, you know, I could, that's a sign I could be having blockages and uh, I was like, oh man, uh, this is depressing. <laughs> could you just please clean my teeth nicely like the other lady does and le let me go on my way? Oh, it's cold, Pauline. I would love cold. Hey, Sandy, how are you doing? Come here for the dentist appointment. <laughs> okay, I'll fly on down to Alabama. Yeah, that's what I think, Laura. Yeah, it's time anyway, I think. You know, my other guy, we went there and all the kids went to him for probably 25 years, but yeah, that's not, not a good way to handle it. By the way, you have a new dentist. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. It hurts. Okay, I wanted to show you a couple things before we get going. Um, I've been out looking for stuff for my mom's apartment and found a couple little things. Dr. Jeffries. Oh, okay. Near the post office. Oh, thanks, Joanne. See, I can get all kinds of advice here right on Facebook Live. <laughs> okay. All right, let me show you these napkins. I'm thinking of doing another, um, you know, collection of notebook of napkins because I have a new batch, and um, I think they all kind of have a similar theme, or maybe two collect. I don't know. I'll have to look and see. But the first one, I love that. Isn't that cool? It just seems um, kind of nautical, and I do have a couple other nautical ones um, like this. You know, that'd be cute on the front of a notebook. Hey, Mitziana. This one I really liked. Very subtle, but wouldn't that be pretty? There's Charlotta. I didn't see you, Charlotta. All right, here's for all you Flamingo fans. Look at that. The background is kind of almost denim looking. It's pretty. Okay, and this stripe is always appropriate, you know. A nice stripe you can't have can't beat that that would be nice with another one like a floral i think to go with it hiding in the shadow charlotte what are you under the, the radar here <laughs> all right then i found these sunflowers which i thought were really pretty i do like sunflowers but not um back to your testing what do you te have te what is your test isn't that pretty I like it with the blue background. It really pops. And then I saw this one too that I thought was nice. And it just reminds me of fall. And here is one more. 
It's not yet time for pumpkins, but it's getting there. And the reason I got this one is this would fit perfectly on the front of a journal. Hey, Judy and Linda. So I feel like a model. So I got them. And then I also found um, this. I went to Marshall's today. It wasn't it? I did go to Home Goods, but these came from Marshall's. So this uh, is, I was going to use this tray for my inks because um, it would just be handy to put on my desk, use my inks, put it back where I'm going, where I'm, where I store it. Okay, Judy, I'm going to have to do a, another napkin release. And then I got this two pack. I really love the clear. Hey, May Jo. Uh, hey, Karen and Marion. Um, this is two. And oh, there's Leah Donna. Yes, I'm doing great. How are you? Good to see you. Whoa. Um, so I really like to have the clear storage because you can see what you have in there. Otherwise, now I have been, you know, I've been painting. I'm trying to see where the color is. I'm sure you'll see it somewhere along the line. Um, it's going pretty well, but I did put things back kind of because. My husband might get home in the meantime, and I just thought the shock might be too much for him. So I kind of put it away for a little bit. I washed out my brushes because I'm going away for the weekend. Usually I put them in a plastic bag and then put them in the refrigerator. But I didn't do that this time. Um, I did wash them, but I am going to get back in there. There's a couple places where I can't paint. Oh, is that not how you say it? How do you say it? Give me the phonetic. <laughs> I don't want to say Majo because I know it's wrong. Hi, Elizabeth. I was thinking about Ulrika. Has anybody seen her? Is she doing okay? I hope so. I have to text her. All right. Um, what we're going to do today is I'm going to take a dollar placemat. Hi, Christy. And we are going to make as many notebooks as we can out of that. And I'm gonna also use my dollar store little notebooks that go inside. Oh, Mele, what, or Mile? <laughs> sorry, I just murdered your name. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> hey, Karen Rogers and Lori. And then, hi, Sheila. I'm also gonna use these for the closure. And also, some hair elastics. So this is gonna be a very fast, quick, fun project. And I wanted to show you one that I had done a while ago. Now this was, a, it was a really cool, cool placement. I cannot talk today. I have been in my house with nobody talking to me for like a week. <laughs> hey, Brenda. So this was one that I had made another time, same idea. Um, but this one is the journal size, so it's a little bigger. Um, and this one was fun because it was black and white and I just colored it with, uh, Mil Milo. Milo? <laughs> oh, you talked to, you talked to Ulrika the, oh, okay. Okay, that's good. I'm glad she's okay. Yeah, isn't it pretty, Janelle? It was black and white though. It wasn't colored in. Hey, Rebecca. So I just took Copic markers and I colored it in and made a fun little notebook. And then I had gotten these at uh, Target, which they were eight by eight books and they were really cheap. They were like, you know, eight of them for $3 or something. So I made them into these little books and I think these are all pockets or fold outs. Oh no, envelopes, how did I do this? I can't remember how I did it, but anyway, <laughs> we can look through it, but there's that. Um, also, if you came the other day and watched the stenciling, thanks for watching. Um, I'm still playing with that and it's still fun. All right, here's another thing. Now this is from Dollar Tree and I think this will work just as well too. Hey, Teresa and June, this seems a little bit thinner than the placemat, but yeah. It's a little more floppy, but I think it would work great to use it as a uh, notebook also. So I might make a couple of them. The insert books were much wider than the cover, so you chop them down and look. 
She remembers that. That is amazing. Glum, you are an encyclopedia. I don't even remember. <laughs> okay, so, uh, and then I saw something the other day. It was one of those videos where they took one of these, it was like five minute crafts or something, and they took one of these bar things from the, the um, you know, whatever you call this thing, the binder, and they turned it into a holder for something. They mounted it on the wall. Hi, B. how are you? So, um, I don't know. I think this could be well worth a dollar if we get a couple covers out of it. I also got, when I was at Dollar Tree, while well, I was in there, I got this, which I thought for a dollar was pretty good. It's like a five-tab project organizer. So what the way you work it is, you open this. Hey, Tanya and Helen. And then you have all these five little folders in here, which also could be used in your journals by the way, always makes me happy. Oh, good. I missed that, but someone used the th ring binder part on wall holding stencils. That would work, but I don't think that's what it was. I can't remember. I And then, you know, you should mark it, but I never do. Anyway, you could use either this outer part. Looks like that would be fine to do. Uh, <laughs> you like seeing the Dollar Tree? Uh... What I liked was this kind of handy dandy little closure here, you know, that keeps them all in. Hi, Nancy. A mouse in your <laughs> Mitsuyana. Oh, we're having a big old party here. Oh, okay. I did want to show you this because at the Dollar Tree, remember when we got those portion control snack bags and they were at Target and they were probably a couple dollars? Well, they have them at Dollar Tree, too. So if anybody doesn't have a Target near them, but you have a Dollar Tree, they do have them. They're calling you in next. All right, I'll have to catch you, Mitsiana, and find out what your test is. Is it for your um, lung thing? All right, so you get 38 bags for a dollar. I think they're pretty good. All right, we'll chat later, Mitsiana. So if you need them, they're handy. They hold a lot of things. And the last thing I got was these little pencils. And the reason I got them is because their eraser is pretty good. Their Zebra, which is pretty good, you know, pencil. Uh, they're not too um, sharp. And let me see how big they are. They hold a cup, Leslie, and they're called portion control because they have a cup, three quarters, half, and quarter cup. Um, I guess if you had I don't know what you'd put in here, like M&Ms. I, I don't know. Anyway, it measures uh, three and three quarters wide. No, three and three and a half, three and five eighths, and by s almost six. Vodka. <laughs> There's a thought. That's the kind of week it's been. Anyway, the other reason that I got these pencils is because I like the length of them. So when we go to make our journal, now that's a little big for this small one, but they fit really well in the pocket notebook. Cranberry juice and a lime. All right, I'm on it. I'm on it. It's time. Maybe for my mom's birthday, we'll celebrate. Okay, so let's get going. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. And it was on the blog last week. By the way, hey, Stacy, we do have a new post up today. So we're working on the latest uh, chapter three release. Okay, so this is the truck and they should be back in stock like soon. All right, so Susie took uh, some vinyl and this was a, a round that she got at Target. I think it was $3 because I saw them there too and I got one. She got a lot of them. So she did vinyl that says welcome and she plans to put it on her door. So she used indoor outdoor um, vinyl. And then she got these little pieces. Then she used the different pieces of the dies to make this. And you can put that in the back of the truck. So you can like kind of put that for celebrations or for seasons or 
whatever it is that you're celebrating in that month. Look at that. Is that not adorable? Yes, I know. It says welcome. Yeah. Sorry about that. Hi, Susanna. Or this nice fall wreath. So you can personalize these. And then I think she just put like double-sided tape on the back. And there's like a little slot. She bumped it up from the, the round. And then um, so there's room to kind of tuck it in there. So anyway, hi, Linda. Oh, man, she still can't get on. It's not like we're a million miles away, Linda. Who knows? I know. Isn't that smart? So anyway, if you want to see how to do it, she has a blog post up. We have another post that uh, just went up um, last night and more amazing designs on there. So if you get stuck for idea, or even if you just want to take a look and see what people are creating, go ahead over to EileenHall.com and check it out. Okay. Hi, Linda. You're looking on your phone now. Okay. All right. I'm going to get my stuff set up here. I'm going to use my cutter pillar. I know that it will work because I've tried it before. And let me get my computer awoken again. And let's see if we can get on here. Uh, I hope I can find you guys and see the comments because last time, click to expand. All right, E. I don't see comments. Maybe it takes, oh, there they are, yay, okay. All right, let me put the camera down and we will get going on this project. And I want somebody to time me and see how fast we can do it. Hey, Roberta and Lily, good to see you guys. There really has to be a better way to do this. Oh no, wait a minute. It's telling me rotate my phone. There we go. And you got to see my big mess. <laughs> okay, so again, we're working with the notebook die. And the reason I'm doing this is because I really am going for a record and I wanna make this fast. So I wanna show you how fast and easy these can be to make. So I'm not counting all the prep stuff, okay? <laughs> Wait, let me put this up a little, cause, okay. All right, so let's, let's see. What is the most efficient way to cut these? All right, let's look at our die. Here it is. It doesn't matter which direction we go with it because it's the same either way. We don't have to worry about text or anything like that. Plus what we're going to cut does not really have a pattern where it matters. So I'm guessing this is going to, oh no, maybe actually this way. If this is 12, we probably can get more. Yep. All right. So let's cut it down the middle. Uh, if I can fit that, I can't. So let's measure what this is. Oh, maybe we can get four. All right, that's eight, so I'm gonna do, this is, where's my big ruler? So this is uh, 17 inches long. So we may not get, that's pretty tight, but let's try it. All right, we'll cut this at eight and a half, that would be 17. Yeah, we'll just have to line it up just right. And then we'll do in half. So we'll do six. Right, let's just make sure. Yep, this is 12. So we're going to cut this at six. So we should get four little notebooks out of this one placemat. Uh oh, you started? Okay. Ah, then I can't talk. <laughs> All right. Well, if it's to make four of them, then let's do that. Oh, the other thing is I was going to take off this. I wanted to show you it really was a dollar. I got it at Ollie's, which I don't know if you guys have them by you, but it's probably better to take this off now. Oh, precious time being wasted, but I could have done that ahead of time. I hate picking off labels. Why can't they all just use things that come off easily? All right, good enough. Okay, so now we have our four pieces, and let's hope that they fit on our die. 
was eight, and this should be eight and a half. So let's see. Yes, that will just fit. All right, so let's get going on this. All right, let's crank them out. I hope there are no bad surprises here, but it's possible. Okay. Can you guys see okay? All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to face my right side down because if there are scoring lines, and I don't know if I'm going to get any, if I don't, I'm going to just make them myself on my scoring board. All right. Undo. Yes, I have undo. You see? Okay, good. All right. So let's just do a prototype and make sure this is going to work. Uh, I don't know why that's sticking. All right, next time I might run that through twice. All right, so let's see if there are, no, there are no score lines on here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my, I don't know who that was. Okay, so this measures, let's just leave, put a little mark on here. And you know, yeah, I think I will. All right, we'll just do these marks right here. And they do line up with, put them in pretty hard because that's gonna be your scoring line. If they don't line up, just do something close. I might even take a craft a knife and do it with that, but let's see what happens. Now it's going. All right, so you probably want to make it the width of your notebook. Now this might hold two notebooks. This is, I want to make this and put it in my bag because I'm going to be doing a lot of shopping with mom and I want to have these ready to go so I can make my notes on them. All right, so there's that. And then my other thought was, I'm gonna use these little notebooks that I got. I can't remember if these were Dollar Tree or Michaels, or Walmart. I think they were Walmart and they were like 88 cents for three of them. So I'm not sure if any of these go with green, but yeah. And two of them fit pretty nicely. Okay, see that? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my crocodile and I'm gonna make a couple little holes in the top. Hey, Nancy McClellan, score the top side. Um, you could do either, I don't think it matters. It's not that thick, well, it's it's pretty thick, but I don't think it matters because you can you can bend it either way. All right, so now I'm gonna just make two little notches. I'm taking my crocodile, and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball. I'm just making notches, and that's where I'm gonna put my elastics for the notebooks. Okay, so do that the top and the bottom. That one wasn't very... They get caked up. There we go. Oh well, that one could have been a little deeper, but. Okay. So here are some elastics that I got, I think maybe at Target. And they don't have those little, I don't know where my hair things are, but usually they have those kind of, I don't know, they look ugly. And these didn't, so I got them. You know, the little metal things, these were kind of neutral. So this green is kind of a nice match. So let's use two of those. I'm hoping they're going to stretch. Oh yeah, oh that's perfect. Yep, so we're just gonna load two of these on. How's my time? It is from Tonic. Yes, that's what that was. All right. And then we're just going to open our book to the middle and slide it in.
Now, how fast was that? I'm telling you what, that was quick. Done. But I do want to put a closure on here because these will open up in my bag. So what I'm going to do is take some of these hitch fasteners and use them whoa, and make like a little latch. So what color will look nice? I think the silver. So you need one of these and one of these. Okay, so then you just, let's see, I need a smaller hole punch. Oh. Okay, this should work. See how thin that is? Can so I'm just gonna make like a little hole here so I can screw in, kind of hard to see exactly where that's going. Not in the middle. All right, I might need to do this a little bit thicker. I don't know if that's gonna fit through there. All right, well, it's always good to do a test one. And this, I don't think it matters really if it's a little bit thicker. Oh, that one's perfect anyway. Okay. So you put this little screw here, and then this goes here. You just screw it on the top. Isn't that handy? All right, and then I'm just going to make like a little piece of elastic come around the front. Right here. So I'm going to punch another hole back here. Hopefully it matches up. Let's see. Ugh. Oh no, that's not good. That is too close to the edge. Oh, that's annoying. All right, maybe it'll be covered by the elastic. Well, that was, that was a fail, but you saw what I was trying to do there. All right, so now let's make a little, what am I doing here? I just want to make a knot. <laughs> Let me just cut this. A little easier to work with. It's so small, but I don't want it very long because it's going to, I can't make this stupid knot. I have problems with knots, especially they're so little. I probably ought to cut off more and just let it... It's not even enough to be elastic. Okay. There. Okay, that should be just right. So then we'll thread this in through here. I could just patch that but hopefully that's not too thin, that join there, and, uh, well, I had to have a prototype. And then you just pull it over, and you've got this cute little, now I wanted to see if maybe those pens, I think I have one that's open. Yeah, this is another one that I got at Dollar Tree, but you can see it's similar. I thought that was really pretty. Uh, if there's a way to stick that in there, because I hate not having a pencil or something to write with. I could do a flap thing, but anyway, for a quick project. All right, what's my time? 9.52. All right, in an, under 10 minutes. I wish I hadn't messed that up, but I, you know what? I could take some washi tape or some kind of, uh, actually... You know what? That helps it kind of thread through to this side. Unless that goes bad there. If that tears, then I'm in trouble. But that's all right. I mean, they're like not even a dollar. It is a little tricky to get it off, though. Um, hmm. Well, it seems pretty strong. 
Okay, so I mean, if I go to the store and I need to get whatever here in my two little notebooks, I could have one for mom and one for me, you know, because I'm going to bring her snacks and groceries and things like that. And, you know, so I can be keeping track of the things that I need to do for her and then also for me. So there it is. All right, let me do another one just while we're here. Because they're kind of fun. I'm going to see my sisters. Maybe I'll give them each one they're good. You know, maybe this time I'll try cutting two at a time and see what happens. We'll see if it cuts through. I don't think it will, but it might. I know, amazing. You could use a giant, a Chicago screw for that. I don't know what that is, Glum. Glum is like the master of all craft knowledge. <laughs> all right. Let's make sure we cover these. I'm going to see if this gives us a little score line. Doing two at a time, it might. I like to use the longer cutting pads with this die just because, I don't know, it helps to, uh, oop, it's slippery. Wait a minute, what's happening here? It's sliding. Oh, they're sliding off each other. I can't do it. Wow. All right. Good to know. Can't do two at a time because it, it slides off the die. Unless you like strapped it down, but it's not worth it. Just run them through separately. Okay. That's all right. It takes a minute. I might cut that one twice though because last time there were some parts that stuck. How about corner chomp chomping the sharp corners? Yeah, you could do that. You need a sister like you. You don't have any sisters? Oh, well, they drive you crazy sometimes, but... Yeah, I could do the corner chomper on here. They're a little rounded. They're not sharp. They're really not bad. But yeah, I could. Totally. Um, but again, this did not... Didn't score. Let's do one that's a little skinnier this time. I don't think it matters if we do right side or left side. I have three brothers, um, two brothers. Yeah, they're, well, I don't think they watch. Although my one brother called and said he did watch my stenciling video the other day. It's like, really? Okay. So uh, I can't really say. <laughs> they're fine. We're gonna, I, I don't know though, the only thing I'm worried about is, you know, we're going for my mom's birthday, she's turning 87, and they're all talking about on our little group text, you know, who wants to bring the bocce? And badminton, I'm like, we are gonna be packing her up. We're not gonna have time to be playing games. What is this? I'm the oldest sister, I'm the big pain. But, you know, this is a work weekend. The way I look at it, because mom's coming down in a week. Okay, so let's do this one a little thinner than the die. So let's see. I'm just going to make a mark where the center is, and then I'm going to just move it. All right, so there's the middle. Here's the middle. And then when I put it on the scoring thing, I'm just going to bring it out a little bit on either side. And, you know, I don't know if that die, um, that, let's try this to score with. That might be better. All right, so I'm going to go out, um, let's see, two on either side. Yeah. Now this one I'm scoring inside. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. So I'm going one, two, over. Mm. It's a little smaller, not too much. But I'm just going to punch one hole in this one and just put one notebook in. But it's nice because you can use the die. You could do a whole bunch of these in a very short amount of time if you had everything cut and, 
you know, all ready to go. And you had your perfect little, uh, you know, pattern that you liked. I think I will use that though. Where did I... Too, too much junk already. I felt like this tonic one was a little stronger because it was metal, but I'm not sure about it. It's hard to get a grip. Well, that is a better crease. And I do want it to stay closed, so. Man, I don't know if I have arthritis or what. Okay, well that looks pretty good. And then we're just gonna do the same thing, make the little notch in the center. And another one. Okay, and let's see, what colors? We have that, oh, I had more. I don't know what I did with them. And I broke another nail. What a mess. All right, well, I don't have another one, so maybe we'll do green and orange. Maybe this could be like a little pumpkin-y one or something. <laughs> a little fall one. I do like that there's no little metal grommet things, aglets, whatever those are. It's kind of bright, but be fun to put a little embellishment on here like a flower or something but cute all right this time i'm not going to mess that up uh, i'm going to make sure it's far enough away from the edge in the bottom So I've been watching Project, no, not Project Runway, Making the Cut, which is the next iteration. It was kind of interesting because it's it was different than Project Runway. I don't know if you guys watched that, but I loved it. And it was just always uh, fun to watch what people did in another creative industry, but uh, it You know, you run into the same problems, like I'm running out of time, I have a deadline, I, you know, messed it up and now I have to fix it. <laughs> and then they'd come out with the best things, you know? It was really, it was kind of corny. Heidi and Tim did all these things, like they went to Paris and they were fencing. and But still, it was fun to watch the designers and you always are rooting for your person and the person that I wanted didn't win, but it was a close second, and she was okay with it. <laughs> Good Lord. I know this is driving you crazy. Yes, Tim Gunn. I love Tim Gunn. Heidi is kind of kooky, but she's good, too. Come on, please. All right, that one seems... can always adjust it. All right, so this one, let's do the cover. Is this going to be like a fall one? I, you could write their name on it. You could do whatever. So under 10 minutes, I mean, that's pretty good for a little journal. I mean, it's serviceable, you know? It's not beautiful. I know, I love seeing the crazy stuff. Glum, we appreciate you. Yes, we do. She is always on it. All right, I might need a screwdriver here. Uh, do I have one? Oh, actually, I brought down one that I found from my dad that had this really pretty handle, but what did I do with it? I don't see it. It had like a green handle, but this will work too. I was out in the garage getting our paint stuff out and found these boxes of things I brought back from my dad's who I painted for when I was in college um, in the summers and when I would come home on winter break. And uh, he was a taskmaster, but he did teach me all about, well, painting and a lot of stuff. 
how to clean your brushes, how important it is. <laughs> okay. And I guess the appreciation for a good tool. Okay, there we go. Okay. I might use something a little bit thinner. This is one and a half millimeter, but it's kind of bunchy. So I'm not sure I would use something that thick, maybe the Dollar Tree stuff, although it will keep it closed. So there, two little notebooks, 10 minutes. This one was even less time. So if you cut out a bunch of these, had them stacked up, ready to go, put them on your die, crank them out, crank them out, and then assembly line all of these things, you could really knock out a bunch of notebooks. So Kathleen, now you're doing production for people. How is it for you? Do you assembly line? Is each one done, you know, by itself or singly? Do you do things ahead of time and then have them ready to go? How do you, all of you do that? You just bought some placemats for this very purpose. Yeah. Um, the, the thickness is nice. The reason I like the placemats is, number one, they're cheap. If something happens to them, um, you know, so what? They were they were cheap, and they didn't take a long time to make. But I do like the things that I do like about it. No, you don't. Okay, I like that they you can wipe them off, and not you know, it's not like they're paper and something's gonna get wet or messed up. Was the placemat some? Yeah, it was plastic, Judy. It's it looked like this. Um, wait, where's there? Uh, I got two of them. Here's the other one. I was going to use this one, but I thought the print was kind of big, but it's still pretty. So it's not very thick. Let's see. Compared to matte board, it is... Uh, how is it that I don't have a piece of matte board within my reach? just put one up here. I just put, I know that I put a scrap up here. Well, anyway, oh, no, nope, that's not it. Oh, yeah, here it is. So here's the thickness of matte board. And here, yeah, you can see that it's a lot different. But it's somewhat pliable, but it it's really it has a nice body to it, too, is the other thing. The trick is finding ones that don't have, like, a huge pattern, because those you would get a little piece of it but you know to get four out of one one placement that's a quarter for your cover really and then you know the only other thing this is probably whoa this is probably the most expensive thing in you know that you used well that wasn't too smart see they packaged them pretty well because this this is the cover but ay, ay, ay. anyway um, I don't care where they are. I'll look them up later. I'll fix them up later. Uh, anyway, that's how it goes. They are cute and useful. Yes. Th these are called hitch fasteners. Um, I think that maybe Glum put a link. Yeah, they're like $4.95 and you get... Mm, I'll just throw that out. Let's see if I can find it. I don't know what I did with it, but there's probably like 15 maybe, you know, so, and the little notebooks are 33 cents a piece or less if you get them at Walmart, if you can find them, can't always find them. I did like these colors better than Dollar Tree. Also at Dollar Tree, oh, here it is. There's uh, 12, 12 fasteners. So, you know, $5, that's you know, they're not that much. And they do work nicely. I mean, there's other things you could do. You could put a brad in here and loop it around that. But I like it because this is pretty big. It's hard to, you know, it's hard for the, that will not come apart. The only other thing that I would want to do is add, and I might just take a piece of Velcro and strap in like a little thing to keep my pen. Because I, I see no reason to have a notebook without a pen. Because <laughs> then you're like, where's my pen? They are slippery little devils, though. I'll say that. <laughs> but they're fun to make, and they go quick. I mean, they, you know, they'd be great for kids, too. 
my um, grandkids, they love their little spy notebooks, you know, and they make their robots in them and all kinds of stuff. Put them in your snack bags. Yeah, they are fun. Oh, yeah, to have a bunch of covers stacked up and ready to go and make your last minute gifts. Yeah, I mean, they're cute. You could have a little library of them. You know, with different subjects, you could. If you had, like, if you didn't have a lot of room for storage, like, I collect notebooks. I have a ridiculous number of notebooks, and I keep my ones that I have used. Yes, you could add a pocket right in here. Yep. Um, that gave me an idea for... Yes, Jen. Yep, you just wipe them off. Um, what was I going to say? You know, if you didn't have a lot of storage, but you wanted to have, like, a notebook for ideas, a notebook for, you know dreams, things that you wanted to do in your house. And then you had another one for, you know, keeping track of your lists or, or whatever. If you had a whole bunch of them, they would be cute to just stack them on your thing and put a little label down the side and do one for each subject and they would look cute. And they're so cheap. Yes, one can never have too many notebooks. That is true. How many notebook collectors are there in the group? Raise your hand. Put your little hand up. <laughs> they have a little or do the thumbs up if you do <laughs> I bet everyone in here the reason you're here is because you like notebooks <laughs> all right there's Laura Charlotta yep Katie yep okay well, I can't you're in a wait a minute you're in a hotel okay Aaron yep Jen yep <laughs> Oh, good. Thanks, Roberta. You collect them, too. Miriam. <laughs> Martha Joe. Yep. Never too many. See? I mean, you could make these fancy, but I don't know. To me, I'm kind of looking at them as disposable. I do have one in my... I should bring it down and show you. It's from um, Debbie Music, and she had sent... Okay, Marion. Um... She had sent me this these two gorgeous teal colored notebooks like this size and I've been carrying them and they are getting the well I have one it's getting destroyed and I it's I need to replace it but I've carried it in there for probably a year and a half Have I tried reproducing a laminate placemat with paper napkins that would be interesting No but you know what you could get the um well, you could use either the regular laminate, you know, that you run through a uh, laminator, or they have that self-laminating stuff that you could just put your material inside and throw in some glitter and sparkles and, you know, smush it together and, and do that. Again. That's a cool idea, Janelle. Yes, maybe we can play around with that. Yep, Helen, another, and Judy, Karen... <laughs> All right, see, we've we've found our kind. <laughs> so, anyway, that's what I have for you today, guys. And I will be back on Tuesday will be the big reveal. My husband gets home. Uh, he's been in Korea. And uh, I didn't tell him. I've been talking to him. This is the color. <laughs> I've been talking to him at night. And he's like, so what would you do today? And I have not told him anything. So you can use the fuse tool to make shaker covers. That would be cool. Yeah. Oh, hey, Johanna. Thanks for the tip on the dentist. <laughs> All right. Yes, you carry one in your bag, too. Yep. I know. They're fun. They're good to have on hand. We are the official Notebook Lovers Tribe. I think so. <laughs> good. You just did. Hey, Chris Flint. Good for seeing you. Yeah, we made little um, notebooks out of uh, placemats. You've seen it before, but I think we did the bigger one, and I timed it. It's under 10 minutes. Look at that. Another nail broken. So, I and I wasn't even really... I did one and messed it up, and then, you know, I just hope this doesn't... I might have to reinforce that, but anyway... Okay, it's fun, Chris. They are very slippery. <laughs> They're flying all over. All right, well, we'll see you guys on Tuesday. Thanks for coming. Have a great weekend. 
and uh, I'll let you know what happens if we're playing bocce or if we're packing boxes. I don't know. Or maybe we're having some whiskey sours. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> All right. Take it easy, guys. Have a, a great weekend. And thanks again for watching. And thanks to my team for being there and for always making amazing projects and all of you for sharing what you make in our fan club. Um, it's, it's just a great group. So I appreciate you all so much. Okay. Yes. I've been great, Chris. Okay. See you guys. Bye.